Just are going to be so great for your portfolio. What portfolio? Your modeling portfolio. I have no modeling portfolio. What do you mean you don't have any portfolio for modeling? I have none. I lost since I lost 100 pounds and got myself together. I have no portfolio. You lost 100 pounds? Yeah. Give it. That's it. That's it, Field and Stream is gonna buy this. Listen to me right now. Here, hold all this stuff up like this, okay? Here, hold this. This is fabulous. Listen, man loses weight in the wilderness. All right, all right. Now give me some attitude. Attitude, let me see it. Let me see it. it. What? You don't like it? it? You don't like it? Okay, no. here. Put that stuff down. How about this? We'll sell this to maybe... Here. Uh, we'll sell this to one of these muscle magazines. Here. Okay. Now hold those up. Man exercises to lose weight. Okay, that's a great gimmick. Okay. Attitude. Attitude, go! <laughs> you don't like it? No way. Okay, no way. no way. How about this? You'll do it this way. This is be great. Motorcycle magazine. How's this? Women in black leather, wet with chains and motorcycles. Ah! Wait a minute, listen to me, I'm telling you once and for all, I'm not using these gimmicks, I'm not using none of this stuff, it's gonna be me, I'm gonna make it, not you, me alone. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now, you're never gonna make it in this business without a gimmick. I'm gonna make it, you're wrong, you won't, I will. for tuning in and turning us on. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> we have a fabulous story for you today. It's, it's um, well, I guess it can be compared to the story of the ugly duckling because that's how he felt a long time. The man you saw in our opening is, is a real human being whose name is uh, Lewis Perry. And uh, he's a very nice person and he had some dreams and he had, he had a couple problems, but he, he, he had some goals and one goal was to be a model. To, to, to take his looks and to, to put him on covers of magazines and, and feel special about that. And he's here to tell us his story. Please welcome Mr. Perry! Even E.T.'s pointing at you. <laughs> How you doing? Excellent. I got a nice letter from you. And uh, you told me about your life. And uh, we have some pictures to show some people how you used to look. How much was your, was your highest weight? I was about 295 pounds. 295 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Why? Because I was very unhappy. Uh, I never got a chance to actually go out and take care of my goals. I was just basically sitting around home, sitting on the couch, waiting for things to happen. Never went out there and fulfilled my goals. When someone saw you in the corner of a disco, uh -huh. what did they say? That's a monster. <laughs> I was big. I was That's big. a monster. Uh -huh. That doesn't make you feel too good, does it? No, it doesn't. Why were you so unhappy, you think? Because I knew I could do a lot better, I just didn't know how to go out there and do it. How to give myself energy to go out there and actually make something of myself. So, how did you come to this part of the United States from New York? Okay, well, I moved out here with my intentions to change my whole life over and get into some modeling and acting. And just to lose the weight, work it off. So you got in a plane weighing 290 pounds mm -hmm. and you came to L.A. And what did you do when you got here? Sat down for six months and repeated what I did in New York. Just watched TV and kept eating. Eating. How'd you turn it around? I mean, uh, you, you've, you've been doing something for 19 years of your life. Um, did your mother help you become a good eater? She sure did. How many mothers made themselves good eaters here? <laughs> hey, hey. What did she do? She used to feed me a lot. 
A lot. I'm talking a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so you're sitting, we got your back, you're sitting on a couch, and you're watching TV, and, and you, what happened? Okay, I was watching TV one day, and I seen this man right here, whom I'm very proud of, Richard Simmons, watch the show, and he gave me a lot of energy, and I just put that energy together with my inner feelings from New York, and I took it out in the street and started running. Started off At 290 slow. pounds, you began running. Exactly. Tell me about the first day. First day, I went out there and ran. I ran for like a quarter of a mile and almost had a heart attack. Very good day. Very good day. <laughs> yeah. And then what? Then I got my energy up again, and I said, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to go a little longer, but I'm gonna, the only thing that's going to be different is I'm going to repeat it, keep going back and back and back. And I did that. And, and you're now, up to how much now? How many miles? I could run 10 miles a day easy. Easy. You can run 10 miles a day. You lost 100 pounds. You got some jobs. You got a day job and mm -hmm. night job. But there was one other thing that your friend wanted you to do. What was it? Playgirl Centerfold. He wanted me to be a uh, Playgirl Centerfold. So what'd you do about magazine. it? I went down there and I did something I never did in my life. Took my clothes off in front of a lot of women like you is here. Uh, Will you do that for us here now? Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sit down. So you started taking uh, not all your clothes off. You just took a shirt off and just, pants off. And what yeah. happened? I became a finalist. I won. And that was the, the ultimate. That made me feel appreciated for all the running I did. I felt very happy. So where do you go from here now? You've lost 100 pounds. You're going to be in Playgirl magazine. You got, your, you got your guts together. You got your body together. You got your head together. Now what? I just want to keep achieving all my goals, get to do some heavy acting, and just make it to the top, work very hard, and do what I wanted to do in the beginning, shoot for the top, the goals. You turned your life around. We're real proud of you. Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you very much. Very, very much. Oh, do we have a recipe for you in the kitchen next? Go, go, away!